after everybody got super excited after watching the Battlefield 2042 trailer. And then they went on to Call of Duty Vanguard's trailer just to bash in the comments saying Battlefield is gonna crush Call of Duty. And then the beta comes out. And then people are like, I'm uh, not so sure about that. But the actual question is, is Battlefield 2042 beta just that bad? The short answer is no, it's not. But here's my reason why it's not bad. The reason why people are hating on this Battlefield beta is because of three things. Bugs, glitches and unoptimization. There's a lot of bugs and glitches in the game that are not exactly game breaking. Some of them might be, but it's a lot more fun to actually see those bugs. We have seen where people are driving jeep and if they get killed, somehow their body still stays in the air. Or maybe if you're jumping off a helicopter, sometimes you still stay on the plane, you get glitched in. And many of times I have seen where a person is just running, you kill them and the person is still in the running mode, just you know, stationary in one position. A lot of times I get confused because I thought like, oh that's an enemy and I keep on shooting and you know, use my whole mag just to realize that there's nobody there. <laughs> that's a bug. Again, I can list on and on about all the bugs and issues and the glitches in the game there is. But the important thing is that this game is a beta version and all these uh, glitches and bugs can be fixed. Yes, the game is not optimized very well, it does not run even in the 3060, you do get FPS drops. But the fact that is any game that is made before it gets launched, there will always be unoptimization issues. And that's why they work on it to make it optimized. Another thing to keep in mind is that this beta is an older version of the game that one of the employees of DICE have mentioned in Reddit. And I hope that they're working on it, again I hope that they're working on it right now to make sure that these bugs and glitches are not there as well as the game is more optimized. But then you might have a question in your mind. Yeah gaming, that's okay but the beta should be built in such a way that when we play the game we will have an impression whether we should buy the game or not. You are 100% true. A beta should be built in such a way that it gives off an impression whether you should buy this game or not. Usually people play beta for three reasons. Number one, how does this game feel and look? And to be honest, the game feels very good, plays very well, the gunplay is amazing and all of that is great. But there are bugs and glitches which are not so good at some points in time and very annoying at the same time. Number two, does it run on my system well? Now the optimization is an issue even with my 3060, I sometimes drop to 40 FPS at moments. So no, not really. So you can say that it does not run that great, especially if you have a, like a 1660 graphics card or something like that, it will run even worse. So yes, the first two questions are not exactly answered positively. So now if you go to the third question which is, should I pre-order this game? You will have doubts, you will probably not pre-order or maybe wait for reviews. Now I've seen a lot of people compare this game to Cyberpunk which is way bizarre because Cyberpunk was not only had problems with bugs and glitches but its own game was a problem. However, Battlefield 2042, the structure, the main focus foundation is not bad. It's actually how Battlefield 3 and 4 was and literally on steroids because there's so much things happening in the game. But there's one thing that this particular game is still bad at and that is Specialist. Unfortunately, specialists have replaced the class system of Battlefield that is Assault, Engineer, Recon and Medic. Now with these specialists, you can be whatever you want. You want to have a sniper rifle with a ammo pack, you can have that. You can have any type of guns and any type of gadget with you. But these specialists will have their own gadgets that you can utilize. For example, the Assault guy has a grappling hook, the Engineer has a turret, the Medic has a medic gun, a healing gun and the Recon has a drone which is pretty cool. Now, along with that, they have the additional specialist bonuses, which is pretty cool as well. After all the matches that I have played, most of the times I've seen people using the grappling group for sure and maybe using the turrets, but I've not seen anyone using the medic gun or even the drone. I've seen people use the drone, but the problem with drone is that we are not playing Rainbow Six Siege or Valorant, we respawn back, so the drone doesn't make really sense. The only thing that kind of makes sense and is helpful is one of the traits of that recon one where if an enemy is nearby you will have this blinking at the very bottom which is pretty cool. So yes the specialists are not that special enough for you to rely on them. Because in previous battlefield you will rely on if you want to be a sniper you have to choose recon. There's no other way but in this case that's not the thing. You can choose and be whatever you want however the specialists are having something extra but that extra is not special enough. Another thing that is not good with the specialists is somehow, some way, the US Army and the Russian Army are exactly the same. Never realized that US citizens and Russian citizens are just children of the same mom. So the major problem with this is that it's confusing to even determine whether that person is an enemy or your friend. 
The only way you can determine that is to have a blue dot over the head. But sometimes the game does not show that. If you pass by a person, sometimes you don't see that blue dot. So you think that's your enemy, only to turn around and shoot a few bullets and to realize that it's your friend. Many a times you will be shooting side by side with an enemy, only to think that that enemy is your friend, but it later on comes out to be an enemy and you, you die. I've died so many times just by that. So the problem is they have the same skins, they're exactly the same. So DICE should really at least have a skin on different teams. Just have a different skin. That will easily help a lot. So these are the things that are not exactly fixable. Specialists and the traits or the speciality of the specialists being not so special. And these two teams being the same people. <laughs> Well, overall, Battlefield 2042 beta is amazing. It plays really good and I'm very much excited to play the game when it comes out. What are your guys' thoughts about Battlefield 2042 beta? Have you guys played it? Let me know in the comments below and subscribe to this very channel. Guess what? There's more videos coming up very soon about games and much more and discussions. It's going to be amazing. I hope to see you guys on those videos.